Hey hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys vlog number 18. This one is a slight review, not like a full review, but just like a slight review or my opinion of uh, the Mayday Purple Label US Standard Card Gaming Sleeves. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this review is because um, when I was searching for card sleeves, it's basically uh, card sleeves to protect my cards for my Flux game and also for Dixit as well. Um, but when I was looking for sleeves, I didn't realize that there was no review videos for these specific sleeves. So I decided to, hey, why not just go ahead and make my own because I do have the ability, I do have the technology, so why not? Um, but basically, I don't know if you guys can see that well, but you guys will see it here in a few seconds, but I sleeve this card for Flux, which Flux cards are a different card size, and uh, I'll probably explain all this again. Um, but basically, this is a standard card, and it's the Flux card. And the standard card is bigger than the flex card, which is very annoying, very frustrating, mainly because I want to sleeve all my cards, and uh, in order for me to sleeve my card, I would have to get special type of, uh, sorry, special type of co or card covers. So, anyway, like I said, this review is on the Mayday Purple Label Standard USA Game Sleeves. It's 100 count. Um, the basic measurement is uh, 56 millimeters by 87 millimeters. And uh, I'll just let you guys know what I think. So I'm going to pass over to myself on the table and we'll figure out how everything goes. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, as I said before, this is not really a full review, but more like a slight review slash my opinion. Well, I guess it is a review. Um, I've been made a uh, gaming card, so let me just go ahead and uh, this out. But I've been made a purple level or purple label card thing, size, whatever they want to call it, some fancy name. But it's basically, uh, I'm doing this video because I saw that there was no other videos when I did originally order these. And I was a little a little upset about that because I was like, I just kind of want to see what the cards fit like before I actually look it up. And um, I have to explain a little backstory before I do get to that. So uh, let me go get these out. And all right. So first things first, uh, these cards, or sorry, these uh, sleeves are decent. Um, that's my straight out the back. I'll just go ahead and let you know these cards are like these sleeves enough to keep them and I would recommend these sleeves I don't know how well you can see them but I would recommend these sleeves to anybody who wants to use them to protect their cards uh, specifically these are specific size specifically size for flux munchkin and any other game with a card size of that nature so I would recommend these because they were the one that I found and they were the ones that I'm okay with so there is a story so I'm um, going to the background uh, so I can give you guys the history of why I was uh, timid at first it's because uh, I, this is Forbidden Island or these are the cards for Forbidden Island so if you guys have never seen that game it's really awesome go play it it's, it costs like 15 16 dollars go buy it on Amazon it's really not that cheap or really not that expensive really really awesome but uh, these are cards for uh, Forbidden Island um, and I have some really nice sleeves for these ones and I have some really crappy sleeves for these ones and uh, my gripe is with these sleeves which is specifically these ones right here the ultra pro card sleeves like this generic kind um, these sleeves are actually really bad I would recommend this to anybody um, luckily I only paid 97 cents for them when I bought them um, but still even 97 cents I feel kind of gypped out like I mean, I mean, oh, okay, okay. Let's let's be honest. It's, I paid ninety seven cents. I paid less than a dollar for these card sleeves. And it's a hundred card sleeves inside of this, so it's a really nice value uh, if you just want to get something generic to protect your cards. But these sleeves are actually pretty bad. Um, I wouldn't recommend these to anyone unless you just need something to like hold you over. Like like I'm, I'm not not I'm not trying to like knock them too terribly hard because they are decent enough to protect these cards. But um, these cards are double sided, so that's why I still have them on these ones. Uh, but as far as the other cards inside of Forbidden Island, I use the uh, Ultra Pro uh, Ultra Pro deck protector sleeves. I don't know what the difference is, but these ones are actually really nice. Uh, they have the nice matted back to them. Oh, sorry, nice matted back to them. They come in different colors. I think uh, where they sell them at Walmart as well, which is where I bought all mine from or all of these from. Uh, but they cost like I think these cost like three dollars. Um, these cost ninety seven cents. And this the deck box. Um, I actually got the deck box and it came with sleeves inside of them, which was kind of cool. I was like, oh yeah, cool, free sleeves. So I'm just buying one of these, one of these, and just like one of these as well. So I have a bunch of sleeves. And uh, it turns out that these are actually really crappy. Um, it's not that they're crappy. Actually, no, they are kind of crappy quality. But um, the cut on them is so uneven, it's not even funny. So whoever designed these, I think it was Ultra Pro. Whoever, whoever decided this is a good idea, it's not a good idea. I will much prefer to pay like... I think I paid two dollars for this. Like, like I said, I much prefer to pay one dollar just for the box and then buy my own sleeves. Um, I guess they're okay in a pinch because I actually did buy like three of these boxes. Two 
two of these boxes uh, for the purposes of uh, storing my card game stuff. But that's another story. Anyway, moving on. Uh, as far as these sleeves go, um, like I said, this is a slight review of that, so let me go ahead and talk a little bit more about these ones. Um, these sleeves are actually pretty nice. Um, when I originally saw it, I tried to look up a YouTube video, as I usually do, you know, do my research, uh, to try to find some recommendations or what people thought about them, and I couldn't find any video, which is why I'm making this video. Now, if anybody doesn't know, Munchkin and Flux are actually really fun games. Uh, they have a not so standard card size. Like, this is a standard card right here. And this is a standard playing card, and this is a flux card, as you can see flux right there. And the size difference is actually obnoxiously close to where the flux cards don't necessarily fit up to the standard card. Like it's it's just off for no apparent reason. And I'm not entirely sure why that was done. I think it was just done just to like save cost or cut down on cost, but I mean it's kind of annoying. So anyway, long story short, or short story long, because I guess it's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I, I wanted to get card protectors for my cards, like, I have another story I'm going to tell you at the very end, so you can stick around for that one. Um, but I'm just getting to the meat of everything. I wanted to buy card protectors for all my cards, especially for my card games, where I, like, we end up playing a lot. Like, I play Flux a few times with my coworkers at work, so I actually traveled with this game, and I actually really enjoyed it. Uh, so I'll probably bring in a lot more, and I also bought another version of Flux, uh, and I wanted to protect my cards. So I just looked on the internet. And I found these uh, made a purple label standard or US standard card size. And there it is. There's a full deck of cards with the uh, flux card protectors. Now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and move all this up the way. And also, one last thing those card protectors are badly that like, the card is like right there and the card protector is like way up there. It's like, bro, do you even match? So, anyway, like I said, I only use these because they these cards are double sided. So. Otherwise, it would be all up, all up in these uh, fancy sleeves. Anyway, like I was saying, um, there is the fully sleeved deck of cards. It's about a that's not about that's, that is a hundred cards uh, of flux right there, uh, with the Mayday purple label sleeves on them. I actually really like like the fit. I was really concerned about the quality, as I stated like a million times already, and I still am quite concerned about the quality. Um, I was kind of hoping for something with a matted back or a slightly matted back. Um, I didn't really care to see the label or see the label of the game or the name of the game, whatever. That doesn't bother me. Um, I just put them in different boxes, so that usually fixed that problem. Uh, but for the most part, though, these sleeves do fit nicely. Um, the cards do slide or do have a bit of slide. So if I just do like a little ball test, you see the cards are starting to slide all over the place, and that can get I can see that becoming annoying. Um, but that is a nice fair trade-off for the fact that I'll have my cards protected enough. To where I can probably play in just about any environment and not feel afraid that oh my gosh this person is eating lunch with like stuff all over their fingers and touching my card, like like I, I don't have to feel that panic, um, which I actually almost did feel that panic. Um, but luckily this is love letter. Uh, luckily with love letter I had my sleeves on there and somebody was eating lunch. Like I said I play this at work we play it during lunchtime and uh, they had like they were eating like some burrito or something. I was like oh, don't touch my card. So I was like nah it's okay. I guess I have card protectors so. These actually fit out pretty nice. And uh, that's enough about that. So let's go ahead and put the love letter to the side. And let's go back into the main topic, which is these card sleeves. So this is Flux. These are the card sleeves. They fit really, really well. Um, really close to like being over, but not enough to make me too terribly concerned. Like not as brokenly bad as the other one. Use this for comparison. I'm just gonna keep a uh, messenger with you. Okay, let's keep the messenger out here. He'll go ahead and tell us the story of what's going on. So um, there's a relative comparison right there. These are the uh, 97, 97 cent ones, and these are the uh, Mayday ones, which these, by the way, cost, I think I think I paid $5 or $4.50 or whatever, um, which I'm not too terribly worried about because there's 100 of these and that's fine. Uh, but yeah, these are really bad, and these are not necessarily there. These are actually really nice, and I actually like these sleeves, despite the fact there's no matted back. If I had a matted back, I'll probably go back and just like buy a thousand of these just for the purpose of having having them. So anyway, these sleeves fit pretty well. Um, as you guys all know, if you sleeve a full entire deck of cards, it will get a lot larger. And just for comparative reasons, I have Cartoon Network Flux over here. So I'll go ahead and put them right there. So original Flux and Cartoon Network Flux. Same deck of cards, essentially different game, kind of just a theme. That's really it. Um, but as far as the height, uh, I don't have a formal measurement for it. 
but I will say maybe if you had like 30 more of these cards, like these flux cards, then you could probably get to the height of the fully sleeved deck, which is reasonable. I mean, you, you sleeved an entire deck of cards. It's not like a huge, huge uh, difference. Um, but it is nice to see that it's not too terribly tall. Like, uh, I think when I sleeved, uh, originally when I sleeved all of the Gubs cards, which I don't think I talked about, but this is a game called Gubs. Um, it only costs $10. <clears throat> I can't necessarily if I would recommend it or not. I would say just, just pick it up if you have $10 to waste. Um, not, say, not saying it's a bad game, but there's a BS card here. Anyway, but um, within Gubs, um, it used to be able to, it used to be that within the case, you could fit all the cards like going up and down like this. Um, but after I put all the sleeves on all the cards, I can no longer do that because the, the cards come out like way high and it's really, really, really crazy. Um, this, this is like an 87 deck of cards right here. So I have to put them into the side, which is not a big deal. I can deal with that. So I say all that just to give you guys some, pro some background as to why I'm comparing the size of the decks. Because if you do put cards on your, or if you do regularly put sleeves on your cards, you will know that the deck of cards will become taller. And I'm happy to say that the cards is not... It's not too terribly high, I mean, like, what is it? Okay, actually it is kind of terribly high. It's about right there as far as difference. So from here to the bottom of the card, it's about the difference that you get. It's about the best possible measure I can give you. So uh, when you do sleep your full entire Flux cards, uh, you do have to be concerned about where to store them. Uh, luckily within the Flux box, this one, the original Flux, um, I can fit these in here. I mean, it's a really, really close fit, but it will fit all the cards in here. I'm going to be a little bit concerned about the Cartoon Network Flux one because that box is not as fancy as this one. It's just like a little Uno box or whatever you want to call it where the cards go in through the top. And that one might be problematic as far as fitting every card in there. So I do have to worry about that. Uh, but for the most part, these sleeves are actually really good. Um, I've only had them for, or I just got, I literally got them like two hours ago. They just came to my doorstep. And I can't terribly, I can't complain too terribly much. I mean, I have my cards sleeved. That's the main thing I wanted to do because, like I said, we do play this at work, or I do play this game at work, and I do play during lunchtime. And there's potential for somebody with dirty fingers to get my cards all messed up, and I want to protect my investments of thirteen dollars. So yeah, there you go. So it all fits in there. It all fits fine. It's okay. It works. Uh, Cartoon Reflux. I'm going to sleeve these one next. Sleeve these ones next. And I actually bought um, Flux the board game. And this is not a Flux video. This is a this card protector video but I just wanted to show you guys why why I'm spending so much time talking about these card protectors because I think they're decent they will do the job that I need them to do and they will go ahead and protect all my cards um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy Munchkin but I might in the future so anyway that's really it for the video um, I don't really have any much to talk very much more to talk about except for uh, I don't recommend these ones because they're pretty bad but 97 cents I guess I can't complain too terribly much and I do recommend these ones I do cautiously recommend these ones. I'm not sure if we have, a, or there's a matted back version of these sleeves, but if it was, somebody please let me let, let me know. I will most definitely look into it uh, myself. If it costs, essentially for me, if it costs more than six to seven dollars, and I'm not gonna buy them, and that's six to seven dollars for a hundred of these, then I would consider buying it. I mean, I'll still be very timid, but anyway. That's really it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over back to myself so I can give you guys outro and yeah, this has been the Mayday Purple Label US Standard 5, 6 by 8, 7 mm card review, card sleep review. Oh yeah, one last thing um, about the Mayday card people, whoever they are, uh, Mayday, Mayday Games. Um, they do make card sleeves for pretty much every single possible card game out there. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever played Dixit, but Dixit has some obnoxiously huge cards, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's good for people who maybe have trouble seeing things. It's bad for people who want to sleep their cards because that means I have to go special order freaking card protector sleeves just to protect all my cards. And uh, so there you go. So Dixit card is about that huge. Uh, let's see, this is a standard card right here. As you can see, it's a gigantic size difference. And a Flux card is smaller than all of them because it's Flux. Why the Flux not? Um, but anyway, there you go. So Dixit cards are really huge. Um, like I said, uh, Mayday Gaming, they do make si or card sleeves for different size cards. Uh, pretty much every single card size I can think of, I think they have a sleeve for it. And it's a nice market for it. So long story short, I am or I have ordered uh, the card sleeves for the Dixit card game already. That's already in the mail. It's going to be on Monday for me. 
and I'm actually kind of happy about that. I'm just satisfied now that I know that Mayday Gaming card sleeves are actually relatively close as far as a sleeve in, or being sleeved on the card. So cool. I'm happy about that. I'm not as panicked as I was before. Um, the Dixit cards will have some nice sleeves for them, and I'll be happy that my card's protected. And Mayday will be happy because they now have my money and my recommendation. So there you go. That's really it. Um, let me go back to my cell phones again. So sorry about that. All right, so it's more or less it for the review. Um, I will go ahead and note that um, <clears throat> since the recording of this video, uh, you know, while I'm editing and stuff, I did receive the card covers for uh, the Dixit card set, you know, the Mayday Gold or Magnum Gold or whatever they want to call them, uh, for the bigger card set. And um, eh, the quality on those is more or less like my feelings of the ones that I saw for the uh, Flux card. Where basically I can't complain too terribly much, but I can complain enough to where it's like, eh, these might not be the best things in the world. But they sleeve my cards and protect my cards, and uh, whenever I do play these games, um, I can rest assured that my cards are protected at least. But uh, the Dixit cards, they were, they did fit within the card sleeves, and it's like you know maybe about a centimeter or so on both sides off. Uh, I can't complain a lot. It's it's not like it's uh, ugly looking. It's just shiny. That's the only thing I'm not used to. All right, so more or less that's it for this video. Um, if you guys want to check out my previous vlog, which is weird because this is vlog number 18, but my previous vlog was vlog number 19 because I did 19 before I did 18 for some reason. Um, but that one is going to be linked down at the bottom. You guys can click on that. Uh, that was when I did a uh, introduction to a card game I made for a deck builder game called Rebellion, or I call it Rebellion. It's, I thought it was pretty fun. I thought it was pretty cool. It cured the itch for a card build or deck building game. Um, you can check out the video out. I have all the instructions. I also have some gameplay for part two. So definitely go check that out. Uh, if you guys want to check out my other channels, which I have three total, I have um, my commentary channel. Which is where I post Dota 2 commentate or commentaries because I am a Dota 2 commentator, uh, more of a hobbyist than anything actual professional. But I do it, so why not just spread it with the internet so you guys can watch it? So that's uh, youtubecom slash dota the C U L B L U D O T A. Uh, you can check out that channel. I also have my other channel, which is Vlogs channel, which is this channel, um, probably where you're watching this video at. Uh, but that one I post vlogs or usually gaming related. Um, the thing I'm going to start doing another series, uh, which I can't talk about yet, it's secretive, but soon you guys will know. Uh, but I do my vlogs there. So it's youtube.com slash coolbluevlogs, that's C U L B L U V L O G S. Um, I also do uh, Cool Blue on airs when I don't have time to do vlogs because those seem to be fun. And uh, you guys can hear me talk about a whole bunch of things like random content and stuff and fun. Yay! And uh, the very last channel is Casters Network, which is a group created to help casters come together, collect, collaborate, and create with one another. The whole goal of that group is to help newer casters or new commentators, you know, get their names out there. Also, if you're just looking for some new commentators and new casters that you may have never heard of, go check us out. Uh, we have interviews with a lot of people. Um, it, the group is currently on hiatus, and it, all that really means is that Cool Blue's been lazy and hasn't been making videos for it. But the group still exists. Uh, we still have resources, and we still try to do what we can to help our casters out that have associated themselves with us. So, you can go check that out, which is youtube.com slash castnetyt, that's C-A-S-N-E-T-Y-T for YouTube. Um, go check that out, have fun, and that's about it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it, and that's all this is about videos. I'll see you guys whenever.